answer to that question because we get this all the time. Uh, let's see, I think you turned that one off, or it turned off, so you have to turn it on again. Okay, wait a second. Good, and now you've tilted a little bit, so now you're not getting the green screen, so turn it back so you can see it. Yeah, good. Except now you got uh, one of the lights in the screen. Oh. So I might want to zoom in or something. So. Okay. All right, good. All right, what about, so if I heard you right, you said, oh my goodness, I need more salt, but I can't believe I need more salt. Because exactly. you feel like you're eating a lot of salt. I do. Yeah, but you're not. How can that be? Did you weigh yourself? Yep. And? I lost uh, uh, 16 pounds. What do you think about that? Well, I'm excited. I mean, I feel better. How does that relate to salt? Uh, apparently, I'm not uh, I'm, uh, I'm dehydrated, I guess. Yeah. So you lost 16 pounds in how many days? A week. Yeah, six days, right? Your surgery was Wednesday. Today's Tuesday, so six days, right? You lost 16 pounds. If you were to do that every day during the coming year, you'd be dead. Correct. Right? So that's a lot of weight loss. What kind of weight loss? What kind of, what kind of, what did he lose to lose 16 pounds? Water Yeah. Yeah. So how did that happen? The surgery is pretty powerful. The surgery, in fact, is so powerful that even with you, try, you, I get the impression from your question that, or your comment, that you thought that you were eating and drinking a moderate amount of salt. Would you say even a lot of salt? I couldn't handle any more. Couldn't handle any more. Yet, what we would say is you've lost so much that you're at risk of passing out. You're at risk of falling over. So how did that happen? The power of the mini gastric bypass. It is so powerful that it converts a heavy person. You know, what does a heavy person do? They retain inappropriately excess salt and water. Swelling in your ankles. Oh, yeah. Swelling in your joints. So you get painful knees and hips and back pains. It causes headaches because you retain extra salt and water in the skull and the increased intracranial pressure. It causes allergies because you get the sinuses stuffed with extra salt and water. <sighs> Trouble breathing, because the lungs are inappropriately filled with excess salt and water. And your blood pressure goes up. Again, excess salt and water. So all these things are evidence of the pathology, the abnormality of morbid obesity. You retain excess salt and water. And now you had, how long was your surgery? 54 minutes. So you had a 54 minute surgery and all of a sudden, even though you're eating and drinking as much salt and water as you can, you've lost 16 pounds in six days. How powerful is the mini gastric bypass? Real powerful. And in fact, so those of you who are having surgery this week, it's so powerful that unless you pay attention and take in that extra salt and water, you're going to have trouble. It's a demonstration of how powerful the MGB is. Now, we had in clinic, I think, last week, a couple people who commented, who said, oh, gee, I assumed I was going to be the one person that MGB didn't work in. And in fact, most of you have experience with lots of previous weight loss attempts that fail. Right? You try diet and exercise? Yes? Yep. Yes, 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 and they failed, okay? The MGB, very powerful, but it, it can fail too, right? Because <laughs> we have an MGB failure here for revision. 
So, but the MGB, very powerful. And its demonstration is in the early days and weeks, it can cause such massive weight loss that you can become severely dehydrated, you can pass out, you can be weak and tired. So that's where we get into the idea of constantly encouraging you to have the Gatorade with you like you've got, to be eating salty foods like the crackers and soup and things like that because it's such massive weight loss. In fact, uh, Rodney, is it okay to mention what you and I talked about last week about the weakness and tiredness on the weekend? <coughs> so we have a patient here who had the surgery three months ago? Four months ago. Four months ago and uh, has lost a lot of weight, which is on the good side, but also comes to the weekend and he's washed out and tired out. And so I think, if I remember the conversation right, I said, oh, well, you need to take in more liquid and salt. And he said, I think, if I'm remembering this correct, you can correct me, I can't because I'm taking as, almost as much in as I can possibly take in. Is that? That's exactly right. Yeah. But uh, it's such a powerful situation, you have to push a little harder to keep that up. And um, that's a demonstration, again, of just how powerful the MGB can be. Uh, is that pretty clear to you? You feel good about that or understand that? Or 16 pounds is a lot. You got that part. If, you're, if I were teaching medical students, when we educate them, people come into the hospital sometimes because they are filled with too much fluid. They have too much swelling in their ankles or their lungs or things like that. We recommend that the maximum safe amount of fluid that they can lose with diuretics and medical treatment per day is around a pound a day. So you're losing a massive amount of fluid, which is good, shows the MGB is working, but also you need to keep up that effort to take in a bit more salt. Wow. Or you don't have to, but then you're going to be weak and tired and washed out, and you won't have that as an enjoyable recovery because you're just going to be tuckered out. Yeah. Well, and so, I, I was definitely tired this past week. Right, and that's an example because you lost too much fluid and could not keep up. And we get in this telephone conversation with our patients all the time. We say, drink more, eat more, and they say, I can't. And we say, well, that's okay, but then you're going to be weak and tired. Okay? Yes? Do you just uh, get more soft in your system by eating? Foods or yes, you else? could. Remember the old days, anybody on a track team or a football team in high school where the coach actually gave you salt tablets? Yeah. That's not done anymore because it can kill you. So the coaches have had the salt tablets taken out. We occasionally recommend if you're really weak and tired and about to pass out <laughs> that a little packet of salt from McDonald's can be helpful. But in general, we've never had an overdose of salt from saltine crackers. There's never been a pretzel overdose that we know of. You know? So those are safe, although it can be limiting, especially early on, to get in enough because the surgery changes <coughs> things so radically and changes the hormones so radically. Other questions on salt? All right, John. Um, Trish, do we have?